fast version of the top five entry level certifications in IT. So let's go ahead and jump right into it. Uh, all these certifications should be able to get you thirty to sixty thousand dollars a year, depending on your experience and your work ethic and how move, fast you move forward. So let's jump right in. First up, we have the Security Plus at number five. Uh, the price is two hundred ninety-three dollars for this exam. It's approved by the Department of Defense. Uh, you need to update it every three years, and it's a great entry-level certification for getting into InfoSec. It can knock a year off your CISSP, and you'll probably be able to get between thirty-two thousand and forty-two thousand for this exam. Uh, this exam is a CompTIA a Security Plus exam, and CompTIA exams are usually pretty good at entry level. Number four, we have a Windows 7 MCTS, formerly now retired, still gives the MCP. Uh, this exam goes for about $150, and it measures skills relating to deployment, Windows 7, hardware and configuring Windows 7, things like that. Um, it is a prerequisite for the still. Uh, functional and still relevant MCSA Windows 7. Um, it provides good foundation for learning Windows and, and how to support Windows and a still in demand Windows 7 operating system that will probably stay in demand for the next three to four, five years. Um, when paired with the 7685 or 7686, it can get you your MCSA 7, which is a great exam to have for desktop level work or IT uh, support work it has a little bit of a diminished value because you no longer get the MCTS certification just by passing the 7680, but it does provide skill sets and exposures uh, to a, a wealth of Windows knowledge for your future growth. Number three, the CCNA security. Well, I'm sorry, CCNA, <laughs> I'm thinking <laughs> that probably should be security um, with the way security is going, right? Um, it's about $295 for the entire exam, $150 if you take the two exam approach. The Cisco uh, CCNA concentrates on routing and switching, so you gain a lot of ent um, entry level information exposure to the Cisco proprietary iOS command line. Um, it covers networking past the Network Plus level uh, with configurations and routing protocols, switching protocols, TCP IP, OSI model configurations, and more. Uh, it's an entry-level certification for the networking path. Um, some people might go for the Network Plus. Some people might go for the CSAN, uh, CCNA. If you're going to really get into networking, you might as well go for your CCNA right off the bat. If you're going to do the CSAN, that's okay. The Networking Plus for the price, eh. But you might need a little bit of information to get a hold and tackle some of the CCNA level stuff. So in which time CCNA might be a little bit too difficult, then go ahead and get your Networking Plus. Um, it's a little bit difficult getting positions with only your CCNA. CCNA does not give you um, the kind of push that some people allude to in terms of um, the certifications value by name. You're still going to have to have some exposure and some experience in networking before you're able to become a networking engineer with just having the Cisco CCNA. Number two, the CompTIA A+. Uh, for the price, $374, it is a very, very quintessential IT certification for getting your foot into the door. The price has been going up and up and up every single year. However, if you want to get into IT and you want that position and you're finding it tough to find positions in IT, get your A+, as it has tremendous value. It's almost a mythical type certification now. I've heard it being used in reference to me needing senior network engineers, senior active directory people. I've had hiring managers say, oh, and they have the Air Plus. Like that's supposed to make me feel better about needing somebody who can totally write PowerShell scripts to query WMI and c totally remediate services and agents on people's machines. <laughs> it's completely <laughs> not the same thing. However, A Plus has a lot of weight behind it in terms of what people uh, consider your capabilities when you have it. So if you want to get into IT, CompTIA A plus is the way to go. And my number one certification, uh, totally based on return on your investment is the ITIL foundations. You can get it for about 250 and in order to pass, it's about 65%. Uh, it gives you an understanding of IT and you're able to learn a little bit about the vocabulary used when it comes from the business to the IT standpoint. Um, it isn't very deep or very hard at all. It's probably the easiest exam that you'll probably take, okay? Um, it's mostly vocabulary, but it has extra value when you really get into the content and you try to learn it. Uh, it sets you apart a little bit from the break-fix type guys because you're able to relate your skill set 
and your impact in your department to what the business needs and the organization the organization needs so building a foundation if you want to have one certification to get into IT and do entry-level work I suggest you get your A plus if you're gonna do two go ahead and get your CCNA and your CompTIA A plus you're gonna do three CCNA CompTIA A plus and security plus will be a great foundation it's almost like the CompTIA triad uh, 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 triad but you're gonna replace the CCNA uh, you're replacing the network plus with the CCNA so that's that's better right um, if you're going to do four, I just say get your CCNA, your A+, your IT, and your Windows 7. If you want to fast track this, get your MCSA in Windows 7, your CCNA and IT. That'll give you your biggest bang for your buck on entry level to mid level, and then you can take off and go anywhere from there. Uh, why do I rank IT so highly? Well, I alluded to this in the longer version of this video, but it's kind of like mind reading, right? If you know what somebody's going to do before they do it, then you can counter it. You can preemptively know the answer. You can give them the perfect answer. If you know what question they're going to ask, what response that they need, you can give them everything that they want before they even realize they want it because you're reading their mind. It helps you stay out in here. So when when uh, patterns of business activity kick up and you know departments are going to need to start printing more in the next couple of months, then you can preemptively get their printers ready, right? You can change the rollers. You can get the toner. You can do all these things to help offset uh, possible down uh, down and outages that take place because you are ahead from a business aspect. So that's my quick form version of my top five IT uh, certifications entry level for 2014. Hope you guys enjoyed it and thanks.